So the research by and large shows that kids do listen to their parents. Now, a child and a parent, you know, there's a relationship there like there is between friends, between people that work together. And the stronger and the better relationship, the more listening that will go on. And so I've heard parents say, my kids don't listen to me. And I, I would like to know more about what's going on in that relationship that can improve from both sides a little bit more listening. And so a lot of the material that we've done in the Power of Parents and other parenting materials is to try and really build and strengthen that relationship and that bond so that it's based upon caring and warmth and understanding. And the parent's coming from a different perspective. The parent is the adult. The parent's the one that has the experience. And so it's, it's easy for parents to be frustrated that their children might not rapidly progress through this process as fast as they'd like them to do. Most kids will listen. But again, the stronger that relationship, the more likely they will listen or that they'll actually come to their parents and want to talk to them about things as opposed to go to their friends who, who their relationship's not based on the same thing. So a parent's relationship shouldn't be the same as a friend relationship. And so there should be better information and more caring and so on. And, and I think that younger people when they develop those initial friendships they, that they haven't really had throughout their lives, they seem so much stronger to them because it's the first time they have these things. Whereas parents recognize that their kids will have lots of friends in their lifetime. And so the parents are operating in a position of, of, of strength and power. So their communications can have more impact just as long as they recognize that it's still a relationship and you still have to have some degree of respect.